Even though I've been trading for 12 plus years now and a couple of years I'm trading with you, I still learn new things about the platform every single day. New features, new hacks, new ways to do things better. And today I'll show you seven hacks I found on TradingView, seven things that really make things faster and easier to trade with. These might feel like cheating, but they're not, and they will help you trade better and spot things faster. A couple of things I found over time. Number five is really important, so stick around for that one. And we'll dive right in. All right, so here we are on TradingView. I'm using the iPad for this. I've been working and trading off the iPad for quite a while now. So if you want to see how that works out, you can check out the video over here in the corner. Where I'll guide you through TradingView on the iPad and also how to trade on the iPad and kind of why I like it and why it makes sense to me. I'm traveling with this currently I'm in Indonesia, in Bali, and we'll kind of go through this. First things first, I just found out here about this watch list icon. I'm making it a lot easier to look at watch lists and kind of scroll back to them. So I have a couple of watches here. I can see I only have two. I might have other ones that are hidden here for, somehow. These are only the recently used, but if I go here and I open the watch list, uh, let's have a look at the Tokyo session over here. I have four symbols in this one. Now what I can do is I can go and click on the star over here. And what this does is it's moving the watch list over here. You can see the T over here, it's for that watch list. Now I can go back. This is my one, my main one for stock called it's in stock watch list. Then I have one here, over here for Forex. It's very easy to go back and forth between these watch lists over here. If you organize it that way. If you put the little favorite next to it, the little star, you'll have it much faster to use over here. So it's kind of cool to see that way, a bit faster to jump in. I often go back within Forex and stocks. It was annoying to go and actually look here. Okay, Forex. Now I can just click, boom, boom, and we change different watch list. Kind of cool. I usually like this, this thing. Might be very simple, but for me, it saves my time and I love this. It's a way to do it faster and easier. And I just kind of enjoy using it that way. And then speaking of watch list, did you know you could actually share your watch list to other people? I just found this out recently. So a few of my students were asking about the stocks I'm looking at and the things I trade. And I go over here, click on the little arrow down. And then here it says share list. So over here it's enabled to on. But if I go into my Forks one, it's not shared currently. Actually, it's already shared over here. You can just copy the link. And that link will be able to, you can just paste it somewhere in the, the browser. And that person will have access to your watch list. So if you go over here, let's say I open this up here, then that person would see my watch list over here. And they can also see everything I'm trading. And I believe also add it to their own account if they want to. Bunch of different stats below here. Cool stuff. Of course, new earnings in the news. Kind of cool. I like that. So here's one for the Mac users and iPad users out there that I find kind of, kind of useful. I'm using TradingView in my browser here, not on the app. I think the app is kind of very basic for the iPad. So I don't want to use that for my own trading. I use it in the browser. Much easier to go through and you have all the full features of TradingView. But let's say I'm going to be here in a different tab and I want to be able to go back to TradingView like really fast. I don't want to have it in like a tab lost somewhere. It has to be very quick. So first thing I do is first I pin it over here. So you can go on the tab you have open over here and you can choose pin tab. This works on both the Mac and the iPad. I believe it also works on other browsers like Chrome. Might be a different feature. So here it's pinned on the on this side. Now what I can do is I'm going to unpin this one. And they have a cool shortcut on the, the keyboard where if you just click Command and 1, it will shift you back to the first tab in your browser over here. Then Command 2 will be the second tab. Command 3 will be the third one and so forth. So you can go and just kind of scroll between tabs. My training view is pinned, so it's always the first one. So whatever I'm in the browser, I could be browsing something. I could be on whatever Google or something. Then I just hit Command 1 and I switch back straight to training view directly. Very fast, very easy to do. Like you don't have to go and or find which tab is open. Uh, which one is it? I want to go back to the right the right tab for my platform. It's, it's just confusing. So just tap on this, find the shortcut. I mean, the shortcut might depend on your browser. I know on iPad is Command 1. On the Mac, would probably be the same with the Safari. On different browsers, it would be different. But it works really well for me. So cool hack to save some time and find your platform in the browser faster. All right, this one is a simple one, but you might not be aware of it. And I, I'm surprised how many people don't know this yet. It's really crazy. I've been using this for years, very simple to me, but I'll share it with you because it might be useful for you. Did you know you could change time frames very simply with the keyboard? A lot of people, what I see is they go on trade view, they want to change time frames, they'll go and click over here, okay, forward chart. I want to have a, one, a 15 minute chart, click here. This is cool, but if you're going to be working on your keyboard a lot, it's kind of wasting a bit of time. So what you can do is very simple. I'm going to go here, daily chart. Whenever you type in a number on trading view, like you're on the platform here, you type in a number on your keyboard. Four, that changes the interval, right? Now it's gonna be four minutes by default, or it could be if you do four age, four hour, if you do four day, four days, four weeks, okay? Or you could just say like one month. 
Okay, one second over here, S. Whatever number plus a letter next to it by default minute, but you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, one hour, here we go, okay? That's kind of how this works. So this will change the time frame. I go over here, I wanna have a custom time frame. I wanna look at the eight days chart. Eight days, boom, over here, right? Very fast to change it. You don't have to go here and like, click the time frame. You don't have to go in the settings, find the one you like. That just is wasting time, right? We don't wanna waste time. So much faster to do it that way. And then if I wanna go and change the instrument, I just, instead of typing a number, I type in the letter, right? So here I wanna have a look at EURUSD. Go to Euro, boom, got the EURUSD, hit enter, and the first one will show up over here, right? Very fast, so a letter is a symbol, and then a number is the time frame. So you can really make this whatever you want, you can customize this to however you want, you want it. Have custom time frames, have other instruments you look at quickly. So you don't have to go and find it over here. Sometimes people will be finding kind of what they want to achieve from the menu, they want to look at the time frame from the menu, or they'll go here, change the pair they want to look at, or change the, the stock. Tesla, for example, here, boom. Okay, you could do this, or just go on your, your chart directly, then search it, T-S-L-A, boom, enter, and it's already there. You don't have to go through the menu and kind of waste time that way. So maybe it's simple for you. I mean, this is something that I've been using for years now. It's been there from the very beginning of this platform, so not something new at all, but if you don't use it, then I highly recommend you start using it. And here I'll go back to a daily chart. Boom. Cool. All right, so here's number five. This is a big one that really is saving me a lot of time. It's a new thing on TradingView. Before, when you place alert, you would have to go on your chart. Let's say I have an indicator here. I want to place alert on it. So it's this one over here. I'll go and here in the menu, I'll go find the indicator I want to, which is this one over here. And then I'm going to go and add my alert right here. Alert for this one. Now you would have to pick a specific symbol and specific time frame, right, for this alert. Now they came up with this new thing, which is you can actually go and put it for your whole watch list. So over here, I have my Forex watch list. You can see it's the watch list over here that's opened. If I open a different one, it'd be a different one. And I can go click here, and that means all the stock on this watch list will get this alert, right? Whatever time frame they're on, actually I can choose the time frame somewhere below, but uh, here, interval. So you can do interval, it can be the same as chart. So here's a daily chart, uh, or it could be whatever time frame you prefer, but you can actually put a alert with a strategy. So with my script over here, so my entries could be giving me alerts every time they're set up in my watches here. Not just on specific symbol. I could do this for like two time frames, so one for the daily chart, one for the weekly. And then it'll be kind of set up for the whole, whenever I want to get alerts. So it's a cool thing because usually you would have to put it before on one time frame, one instrument, and then duplicate it or like multiply it to many, many charts you have or many, many things you look at. Now it's a lot simpler. You can go here, put it once. I have this set up already for my other watch list over here. I actually just switch here to the alerts. You see my alerts are set up for this one. So I have my HME colored blessing all things set up, uh, which is my indicator here based on the daily chart. Now I could do one for, for weekly. Now for me, weekly is easy. I just go back on the chart once a week, look at my trades, but I could put alerts if I wanted to. And it's kind of like going to be showing up the alerts every day. For example, here I had one yesterday on Dell, which is taking time to load now. It's a bit slow and bad, the Wi-Fi, uh, but you see the alert will be showing up over here. And it's all ready for me to take a trade if I want to in the morning. So kind of works out fine. This will save you a lot of time because first you can set alerts for different indicators you have that you build yourself. Or if you want to have someone else's indicator, you can also do alerts for that too. If you want to have my indicators, the one I use, same one on the chart here, you can have a look. It's going to be linked below. I have a package of indicators that I use. That really saves me time because we have alerts over here. Not triggered in the end because we have to enter below the low. But still, we have the alert in the chart. So it's kind of cool to see. But yeah, check out the link below if you want to see these indicators that I use. You want to use them on your chart. You want to apply them to your own trading. They work really well. I have a little guide for each indicator that I use on how to use it and how it's useful, when to use it, when it works the best, and how to look at entries with it. So you can then go and set alerts if you want to. First thing below with that, check it out. And let's move on to the next hack over here. And actually speaking of indicators over here, uh, one hack people have asked me a lot is, how do I get this little indicator here at the bottom to show on the chart, right? And what is this indicator? Well, this is simply a haul, like this one over here, the same thing, haul moving average, but move to the bottom of the chart. The way I do this is very, very simple. So I'm gonna go and uh, disable that over here. And what I'll do is, I'll show you how this works out. So what I want is I wanna have a chart over here with the haul moving average, giving me a good indication for entries and exits. And then I want a second one below based on the trend filter. So I wanna look at the bigger picture trend. So it's gonna be, of course, a higher time frame haul than this one. So what I do is I'm going to go and take my indicator over here, which is if I go, it's going to be my HMA. 
can just take this one if I want to. HMA strategy is a whole package behind it. I'll add this to my chart. Now you'll see I have another one that's going to show up over here on Missy. It's just one there. And I'll change the setting. I want to have a, in this case, 200 period moving average, right? Because I want to be able to see the long-term picture, the long-term trend, 200 period. And we don't see, see any setup. That's fine. Uh, that's all good. And what I'll do is I'll hit OK. And then I'll take this and I'll just go in the menu, click the three dots and move it. It says move to. I can be pan panel above or in my case panel below. And boom, it's here. Now I like to, this is kind of, well, this is fine. It looks okay. But I like to have a different layout. So if I go here in the style, I'll go and change my HMA here, the colors to historogram. What this does is it's going to be easy to look at. It's kind of kind of nice. So you also make it smaller. You can still see it very clearly. And you have any carry a bigger picture to look at how the market's going. Now you can do this, of course, with the hall. You can do it with other indicator you have. Uh, th I think other tools will also work well for that if you want to. A uh, cool way to kind of just declutter your chart a little bit. Instead of having everything here, you have some things here. It's easier to look at, more clean, and it makes it nicer to trade and kind of have a look at the charts. So hopefully it's useful, and you can also do this for all the things you have. A uh, cool hack here to make things a bit more easy on the eye when you look at your chart. And then, of course, you can go and click on this and change the period to whatever you want once you're there. This indicator is included in the pack. And then, of course, you can go here and double click. If you want to change the value, you can go here and change this right there. And it's going to adjust and do as usual for an indicator, for an indicator over here. This one is part of my indicator pack. It's going to be linked below, like I said. You can check it out. Uh, you get three indicators. It's a very cheap price. I think it's worth it 100% if you want to see how this works. Uh, There's also a money back guarantee if you want to. But uh, yeah, let's go on to the next hack on TradingView. Okay, my next hack here is going to be to learn the keyboard shortcuts. There's a lot you can do with keyboard shortcuts on TradingView. If you just go here in the menu, you can see we have a okay, the trend line tool here. If you do this little icon, which is on my keyboard, is Option and T. I'm going to go and hit Option and T. Then you get a trend line, right? So you can really kind of do things faster if you learn the shortcuts. If you go in other menus and look at the different shortcuts, there's a lot you can do here. See this one option, Shift R, is going to be for a rectangle. So I can boost my chart if I want to. And actually, they have a whole page on TradingView about the keyboard shortcut. It's this page right here, which I'll leave linked below. You can check it out. There's a lot of stuff you can do here. So you can see we have a uh, quick search, open the indicator window. So a little uh, symbol here will help with that. Undo, of course, this is simple. Control Z, Control Y. And of course, if you're using a Mac, you, do, you change this to Command, Option, and so on. Uh, if you want to go to a date, Alt and G. When I reset your chart, I use this a lot when there's like a bug or when it's not loading. Alt and R will reset everything. So have a read through this, look at things that you do yourself that you could do faster with these shortcuts, and then you can start to use them. Uh, switch between charts is useful if you have multiple charts opened. If you want to be able to, this is a good one, add things to your watch list, Alt plus W. It will save me personally a lot of time because I sometimes look at things in the chart. I want to be able to add them quick to my watch list instead of going back in the watch list and adding them manually. Uh, this is faster. A lot of things you can do here for sure. Even the place market order, Shift plus B, that will save me a lot of time and Shift plus S is going to be a sell order. Cool stuff. So have a look at these. Make sure you learn how to use these. I'm going to go back to my charts over here. And there we go. If I do Shift and B, not connected now to my account because it's uh, markets are closed now. It's 11.25 a.m. in my time in Bali. But you could do all this stuff over here, which is kind of cool. I'm going to use that for sure next time. So let me know in the comments section below if you have any other trading view hacks. I want to know what you do, how you do things better. I want to hear your tips and your hacks as always. Let me know which hack in this video you like the most, which one you will use. It would kind of mean a lot if you actually use these and improve your trading view skills if you want to. Check out the link below for my indicators. Check out the link below for these keyboard shortcuts. These will be a very good help to use on trading view if you want to do things faster and easier. And if you want to see more trading view videos on how to use the platform, how to make the most out of it, how to place trades on it, check out this playlist over here in the corner. This dives into how to actually use trading view, how things I have learned over time, more tips like these in this video. You can really maximize this and improve your results with it. Make sure you are subscribed if you haven't done yet. I publish these videos like this on YouTube three times a week and I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.